In this video, I'll be using simplex method to obtain the inverse of the matrix and that's another application where we can look the simplex method. Usually, simplex method is used to solve a linear programming problem which look like something having the objective function. So here we use optimization of some uh, objective function which is either of maximization or minimization and subject to certain constraint ax less than greater than or equal to b and then we may have some non-negative uh, restrictions on the decision variable so now uh, let's see how can we find the inverse of a matrix so when we have been only given a matrix and we want to find the inverse of the matrix using simplex method so to explain this let me to consider this problem and here i want to use simplex method to obtain the inverse of the matrix a which is given like this and now if you just compare this particular uh, this a from uh, this problem which is actually we find in the normal usual way of applying the simplex method that means only this particular a coefficient matrix is given but we don't have any objective function we have nothing on the right hand side there are no decision variable so what i'm going to do is i'm converting this a in a linear programming problem so for this i'm going to associate a dummy right hand side so let me to consider a system of equation with this particular matrix which is given to us a and consider the associated decision variable so this we introduce by ourselves and consider something on the right hand side of course and let's keep these decision variable as non-negative and just notice that this one is a dummy so I'm keeping this as a dummy column. So you can keep any uh, value here instead of this four and six, you can keep any value. So the uh, reason is that why I'm associating this so that I can have a system A capital X equal to B. So which looks something like this one, A equal to AX equal to B. So we have seen this as a constraint and we now know if you have a constraint, we can apply the simplex method. And also notice that uh, while applying the simplex method, we have an equality and the associated matrix do not have a ready identity column. So in case if I wanted to construct a basic variable, the first simplex table, and then we of course have a solution. What should be my first choice that should I keep here? Because here we always keep the decision variable which correspond to ready identity. So this means obviously here I need to introduce artificial variable. So introduce artificial variables. Once we introduce artificial variable, we have to see, uh, we need to add of course two artificial variable. So our original system look like this one, 1001. 0, 0, 1. And these are now due to the artificial variables A1, A2. And then we have 4, 6. So just like we introduce artificial variable in two phase method or the bigger method, and the moment you introduce the artificial variable, there is an associated objective function. So in case we are considering the two-phase method, it we may consider as minimization of A1 plus A2. Or we may consider this as maximization of Z dash equal to minus A1 minus A2. Or we could have considered this as minimization of Z equal to M times A1 plus M times A2. Or we could have considered this as maximization of Z dash equal to minus M A1 minus M A2. Just to bifurcate, uh, this is minimum Z, this is maximum Z dash because I'm just using the same variable. So this is in case we are using big M, this is in case we are using the two-phase method. Now, suppose let me consider for this particular question, I am applying the two-phase method. So for two-phase method, I'm also considering the objective function as maximization. So here I will consider A1, A2. And now since I'm considering uh, maximization, so my cost is minus one, minus one. And then I can keep these uh, scalars directly and the right hand side four, six. And this is because of X1, X2. And these are because of artificial variable. And now I need to calculate what is Zj minus Cj. So this is minus seven, minus one, zero, zero. And the value for Z dash, because here I have written this as Z dash. So I'm just writing it as Z dash. And so this value is minus 10. Now we just look, this is a maximization problem. So x1 enter because this zj minus cj is most negative and find the leaving variable by uh, checking the ratio 4 by 3 and 6 by 4. So artificial variable a1 leaves the basis and 3 become the pivot element. 
Once this become the pivot element, let's calculate the next table. We got these entries and since we need to find A inverse, so what we do now here is as you see that all the Zj minus Cj are greater than or equal to 0 but still there is an artificial variable. In case of simplex, we would have concluded that the artificial variable remain in the basis and it is at the positive level so the solution is infeasible. But since we do not want to find anything uh, about the system of solution, what we want is we have been given a matrix that is 3, 4, 2, minus 1 and we want to find the inverse corresponding to that. We don't have a system associated with this uh, in our initial problem. The system that we have created, this 4, 6, this is a dummy column. So if we look this system again, what this system is looking something like, we have A which is 3, 4, 2, minus 1 and in addition to that we have an identity column 1, 0, 0, 1. So what are we trying to do is we are trying to convert these two corresponding columns as identity column and due to this conversion whatever this conversion takes the row operation takes it to convert to 1, 0, 0, 1 the same conversion we'll notice here. So as such as this A goes to identity this identity will go to A inverse. Okay. So that's the normal row operation we are using. So this means here we need to intentionally enter the x2 variable. So if we intentionally enter x2 variable, now you look here, we are intentionally entering x2 variable because we desire to find the inverse of a given matrix. Now what will happen here? We are entering a variable which is positive and our original uh, or maybe the considered objective function is maximization. So this means it should deviate us from the feasible solution or from the optimal solution. So and we leave the corresponding negative value so that this will become our 1. If this is a pivot element, so this will become 1 and the remaining value will become 0. So that is why I am leaving this minus 11 by 3. So this one is a bit tricky here because I am finding the uh, inverse corresponding to the simplex method. Now x1 leaves uh, remain in the basis and instead of a2 I have x2. So what it will give me it, it already have 1 0 0 it's a basic variable. At this place also I will have 1 0 0 and divide this whole row by 11 by 3 with a negative of 11 by 3. So this will leave us the entries as this and z dash is equal to 0 because the uh, cost of the x1 x2 is 0 there was no so z is 0 of course. And uh, this is 1, 1 because the artificial variable columns are here. So now you notice that original x1, x2 are converted into 1, 0, 0, 1 identity column and the corresponding original identity column. So this was original identity column and they have finally transformed it to this one. So what we did, we are converting original A into identity. As you can see that this is A. So after the conversion, A has converted into identity column. And the identity column has transformed into A inverse. So now the final column which is we received here is the A inverse corresponding to the given matrix. So that is 1 by 11, 4 by 11, 2 by 11 and minus 3 by 11. We did not bother about here that if even if it is minus 2 by 11 because we are not solving a given linear programming problem. There we talk about feasible solution or infeasible solution. Here this is all our uh, calculation or the values are because of the dummy uh, introduction that we have done in the initial. So this is our dummy column. If we have considered a valid for which the system have a solution, we would have got a positive solution. But this is quite uh, not necessarily whatever we can take here. We were more interested in finding the inverse. So this way you can use simplex method to find the inverse for a given matrix.